On today's episode of Watch Jericho, we are back with my 1998 Mitsubishi Diamante that I really just bought because it was the only $400 car around. And I guess we're going to fix it. What is going on, guys? I am Watch Jergo, and today I am here with my 1998 Mitsubishi Diamante that I bought from the Oklahoma State Surplus Auction from the government somehow. And it's just, it's here in the shop. It's very, very dirty. It needs a lot of help. And we're not gonna go too far on this car. We're just going to make it look like a car again. If you take a look inside the car, it's very dirty. There's, for some reason, there's LEDs everywhere. This is a tan interior car, which is a little bit more rare than the black interior cars that you can find basically everywhere. We have, I mean, the seats are destroyed. You can't get these seats. I've looked at many, many, many salvage yards, so I know uh, that's a non-starter. Seat covers are the answer for this car. Um, it smells okay, so there is that. Uh, this little change holder, that doesn't work. I and mean, we've got some problems here. The grill fell off. Oh, glass falling out right now. Uh, the window, obviously, the back driver window here is just exploded everywhere. It's inside the door, all over the car. That's a lot of glass, honestly. And uh, we've got the Vivitar, what's that say? Experience image manager down there. So some old uh, digital camera software, some water bottles. Really, this is a very rough car. And uh, it's also sold, you know, kind of pre-sold to Auto Auction Rebuilds. He said he was gonna come, uh, he, he said I could just take it straight to his house, but I wanted to at least bring it home and talk about the Diamante and just kind of share what this car is about. So today we're gonna to start on doing just that. I'm not gonna stay on a Diamante too long, even though I know all the Aussies want to see it because the Magna looks incredible. Well, this isn't a Magna and it's not the facelifted Diamante either. Um, those are a bit harder to find here. So I don't see much of a point in going hard on, on trying to save this car. It's, it will never be saved, but it can be put back into service and be a good cheap car for somebody. So let's take a closer look. Cue the montage. As you can see, this thing is in horrific shape. Oh, look at that, it's got a military base sticker on there. It almost looks like the State Seal of Oklahoma, Department of, I can't really tell, but you know, that sticker is, it's basically gone, but it was definitely some kind of military or state seal there. So maybe that explains where this thing came from. Anyway, it's in horrible shape. Let's make the Diamante shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> All the clear coat's gone from this passenger fender. <laughs> Couldn't even see it through the dirt. I just noticed the light changes quite a bit. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start by removing the seat covers, getting everything out of the car and uh, vacuuming everything we can, trying to get the glass out of here. So uh, let's head to the time-lapse now so we can start tearing this thing down. It's gonna be nasty. I've got gloves. I don't think this is a mask situation, but uh, definitely do not wanna to touch anything that's in this car. Let's get to it. After just a couple seconds of pulling the actual parts out of the interior that I want to save, we've done some interesting stuff. Super glue, uh, hex driver, 22 round uh, that's complete. Uh, tons of fuses that probably don't go to this car. There's glass fuses in here. Here is the uh, preamp wiring to the old amp that was in the back cut up. Gross. There's the power wire to the back. Uh, anyway. Now it's time to get it all out of here. Button cells, a bunch of button cells.
Okay, we got it vacuumed out, and now uh, maybe you could sit in here without your skin crawling. I'd say it looks quite a bit better. No more glass, trash. Uh, I mean, there were tons of fast food things, fries, McDonald's, chicken nuggets, all that good stuff that you typically find on the floor. Uh, I got all the big stuff. We got all the big stuff. Ooh, I left all those air fresheners. I need to get those. And uh, I did find, I'm sure this is worthless, but a gold Babe Ruth card here. Let's see, it says it's a, uh, Outfield, what is this, Tops? Yeah, it looks like the Tops. Uh, no, that's the MLB logo. GMG Worldwide, I don't know. I'm guessing that card's worthless, and then I found a bunch of other baseball cards. 62 Rookie, Downing, Yankees, Johnny Nux. Uh, and there's quite a few cards right there. So I'm betting that's all junk, but maybe I'll check them out on eBay later. The gold one's cool, and I mean, it's Babe Ruth, so. We did get all the glass out of here, and then there's the wires that used to run to the system. They're just cut up all over the place. I don't even know how that's possible. And I think now that we've got this sort of clean, it's time to pull this door panel off and get all the glass out of here because glass is going to keep coming out of this door forever. <laughs> I think we're over an hour into this so far, and I'd say the carpet is clean enough. The carpets are a reasonable thing now. And I found basically all the stock parts except for the dash bezel, which is clearly just straight up missing. I also got this hooked up and working again. Their uh, cigarette lighter splitter here. And here's why. Oh, look at the pretty blue glow. Anyway, uh, apparently they loved blue LEDs. They're everywhere. That's what all these wires hanging down are. More LEDs just all over the place. Horn doesn't work. I wonder if really any of this thing works. Uh, climate works, radio works really well. Let's start on uh, the next phase of this, which is wiping down the interior. I'm just gonna soak it with uh, quick detailer and just go after the interior. And then after that, we can go wash this thing. It's gonna be tough to wash with a window missing, but uh, I think we've gotta do it. I might just put a trash bag over that door. Quick O'Reilly's run for some battery terminals and uh, I'll use Optima here, which can still start a car, just not great. Uh, we got some battery terminals, did have some battery terminals. And uh, of course the old one, one of them just exploded and the other one was so full of battery acid that it was basically worthless, but that is a cool terminal. It works pretty well for what it is. Uh, now I'm going to install the new terminals on all the bare wire and we'll be ready to start this thing. And just like that, we have a battery in the Diamante. Let's see if it'll start and we can move outside to wash this thing. So, I mean, it seems like it's gonna start. We got power. The battery might be dead though. Runs great. Let's party. Okay, so we made a window with a trash bag and some uh, painter's tape there. Enough to just keep most of the water out of the interior. Now we're gonna get the high pressure washer out here and uh, go to work trying to get this huge layer of dirt off this car. And uh, I think it'll go from real dirty to real clean, well, real clean looking. The Diamante is wide again. It took uh, so many passes. It was a lot of work just to scrub all the uh, oxidation off of that thing. And that's just touching the driver door panel. It's just, you know, straight dirt. Nothing terrible like mold or anything like that, but there's a lot of work to do before this thing is uh, habitable again. Uh, we're gonna drive it back inside now. And that's probably gonna be it for today because that took a lot longer than I was expecting. 
but it's kind of a car again. I can sit in it and I can start it and drive it. So much more to do in here before I want to sit in here, but I'm doing it now because I have to. a uh, somewhat cleaner $400 Mitsubishi Diamante. And so far I've only spent uh, eight more dollars on battery terminal on this thing. Anyway, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop, watchjrgo.com for cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. Well, let me know in the comments if these are worth anything. This weird gold Babe Ruth, 62 Ricky Al Downing, Marv Throneberry, Norm Seaburn. These are all pretty poor condition. They've been kind of, you can see some cracks from like folding. Uh, Marv Thornberry, Marv Thornberry. We got another one here. Gil McDougal and Johnny Cux. Did I cover my Diamante investment in uh, baseball cards?